of relationship relationship basically models the interaction between one or more entities okay so let's see how do we explain this with an example let's suppose we have a person and we have a pet so the relationship between the person and the pet is that a person owns a pet right by owning a pet this person is interacting with a particular pet so these type of interactions we abstract into relationships so our entity relationship model is basically comprising of entities which have already seen what they are and the interaction between these entities called as relationship it is an association between entities let's take an example let's take this example only let's say we have jimmy we have rob we have jenny we have sean okay these are persons and we have some pets okay let's say we have a tom which is a persian cat say we have mac which is a german shepherd say we have a cc which is a goldfish and say we have bruno which is a boxer boxer is a dog okay so let's let's keep it like this these are the persons and these are the pets so i say jimmy owns cc cheney own storm and rob owns bruno okay so we'll have a relationship between jimmy and cc jenny and tom and rob and bruno just understand here shawn doesn't own anything okay doesn't own any pet and mac is not owned by anyone okay so just like we had entity set we have a relationship set it is the set of all relationships which have a common relationship type in this case that relationship type is person owning a pet so i'll just tell you how do we represent relationships relationship is represent represented by a diamond like we've done it here owns is a relationship and it's represented by a diamond next what we will see is a relationship instance relationship instance is one of the values in the relationship set okay it is like let's look here 
Jimmy owning CC is a relationship instance. Okay, I'll write it down. Jimmy owning CC. That's an instance of the relationship set which says a person owns a pet. When an entity participates in a relationship, it basically means that it is a part of some relationship instance, okay? So, I say that Jimmy participates in the owns relationship, okay? While Sean does not participate in the owns relationship because there is no relationship instance where we have Sean owning some pet. The next terminology that we are going to introduce now is role of the entity. Role of the entity basically decides what type of interaction the entity is having. Okay, so in our example, it is the person owns pet. So the role of person in our case is that of owner. He is interacting as an owner and the pet. The pet is interacting as something that is owned by. Okay, so pet is owned by the owner and the owner owns a pet. Okay, so every entity has a role. Role is important whenever we have a relationship which is interaction of two more entities of the same entity type. We call such relationships as recursive relationship. Recursive relationship. Okay? Say we have a set like person okay and we have a relationship marries or rather marriage marriage is a relationship okay so in this kind of a relationship two entities are involved but the point to realize here is both the entities are of same entity type. Okay? So now, role comes into play. One person is playing the role of a husband and the other person is playing the role of a wife. Right? So role is important in recursive relationship. It's most important in recursive relationships, I would rather say. Okay. Mm. Now, we'll take a look at descriptive attributes. Descriptive attributes are the attributes of the relationship. Okay. There may be some attributes which are not actually characterizing the entity but are characterizing the relationship. Let's revisit our example. Person owns a pet 
in this case we can have an attribute which says or determines the date when this pet was brought home okay i would keep it as brought home date brought home date is different from the date of birth of this pet okay there could be a pet which was born in a kennel there could be like we had mac the german shepherd if he was born in a kennel then obviously he was not brought home when on the day he was born he was brought home probably when he was 2 months old but this person is more interested in when this pet or mac was brought home so this information is represented as an attribute of the relationship set okay so we say um for it our example go okay we don't have mac being owned by anyone okay so i would take this rob and bruno example so we can say that rob brought home bruno on 15 december 97 okay so this is the information which is represented by a descriptive attribute it is an attribute of the relationship and not of the entity 